Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Oh yeah, guys. So I have gone around the outside ring and I have added in trees. And I think it's looking pretty good. I have not gone through and bone mealed the grass yet. So I'm not going to take you guys over there. But that's what we're looking like. And I think it's looking pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we got the grass all in. We have the leaves around the border. And now we have the trees to go along with it. So from down here, you can't see it too much uh from this lower level but you can see the trees in the distance and i think it just adds that much more to the visual appeal of the place mm. anyway so today i wanted to work on some more quests yes uh i would like to get ourselves a better power supply and i think we're gonna do diesel generator now there's other ways that we could get power there's like solar panels in here and some other various things but we have to make this diesel generator anyway to get this quest complete. And there is so much oil in the Twilight Forest, I think it makes a little bit of sense that we put that to use. I don't really know how much power the diesel generator makes in this mod pack, but in previous mod packs that I've played, like it's a, it's decent. It's like, you know, mid game power. It's definitely not like the best power, but I think we're gonna work towards doing this today if we can. So in order to do that, we need to get ourselves a metal press, which we wanna make anyway, to get down this line. So the metal press wants us to make some conveyor belts, some steel scaffoldings, heavy engineering block, one piston and a redstone engineering block as well. Now we can see all this as we've seen before by grabbing ourselves the uh, engineer manual. It's right here. For some reason, I thought that was another book when I looked in here earlier. Uh, so under, I think it's heavy machines, metal press, yeah, this gives you the breakdown of all the parts you want, and it gives you a little green check mark when you get all the parts that you need all together. So, for instance, we grab ourselves a piston, and we'll have a little green check mark next to it right there. Mm -hmm. So, conveyor belt, I'm not sure what that costs. That might be something that we have to look at a little bit. Let's take a look. So, that requires leather, iron, and a redstone, or if we were into plastic, three plastic, iron, and redstone. But yeah, I think we'll do this method here. We do have some leather remaining. I have been using a lot of it to turn into books, but yeah, we have some that we can do this. You get eight per craft. So if I wanted to make a few of these different metal presses, which I kind of do, I want one for like plates, I think. I want one for the wires. Uh, can we look for metal press mold? So plates wires, probably gears. And then I don't know. Well, actually, I guess rods is something that we're going to want to. And then maybe gears. Now we already have a way to make gears. I don't know if this does anything different or unique. Maybe not. Maybe it's not worth setting that one up since we already have the thermal expansion way. And same with the metal press mold plates. Maybe getting the rod and the wires are the only ones we should do. So let's look at the very minimum making these two. Let's do that. And then if we want to expand out later, we can. Okay, so we want to make two of these and we're going to need two pistons because that's what's going to be required for two of those. We're going to need two redstone engineering blocks. Redstone, we don't have any of them. All right, let me just go ahead and craft these things up. I think we've done them all on camera before. Be right back. All right, guys, so we got all the parts together now for us to make ourselves two of these metal presses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and build this as best as I can by heart. Not totally not looking at this one as a guide. I'm building it all by memory. And then we have to put these conveyor belts on like so. And then we need to uh, turn this piston. So that's facing down. I do remember that's very important uh, to get these things to work. Okay, so I think that should be it. All we gotta do is just boop it. Boop. Which, where do I boop it? Uh, get booped, heavy, sticky, redstone. Um, okay. So if we look at the engineer's manual, that is scaffolding, redstone, scaffolding, conveyor, conveyor, sticky piston facing down. Oh, it's regular pistons, not sticky pistons. Oh. I did another recipe that required pistons, and I think it I was gonna use the sticky pistons 
in the instead and i ended up using the rig oh my goodness okay well i think that's easy enough uh you can put that with a bucket of water right that gets rid of the stickiness no no how do you get rid of it i know there's way to uses uh maybe we cannot get rid of the stickiness i thought there was a way to wipe that clean is that special is that like a certain mod that does that well, it's definitely not a thing in this mod pack, or at least in Kappa mode. Piston, we have only one regular piston. Oh, we had enough, but I grabbed the wrong ones for the recipe that I made earlier. Oh, no. Well, anyway, let's make another piston then. That's easy enough for us to do. So making a piston that's Invar and the red alloy. Invar, red alloy. We need to get ourselves some wood. And I don't remember, is it regular cobble? Just cobble, okay. I wasn't sure if it was cobble or the dense cobble, but or compressed cobble, I guess. So there we go. All right, now we got both of our pistons. Now we should be able to get this thing to go. Oh my goodness. So can I place it downwards? Of course I can't. Why would I want, why would I be able to place it downwards? That's silly. All right, so we do that, do that. Now if we boop it, ah, there we go. Regular pistons only, no sticky pistons. You know, I guess that's my fault. I should have looked at the engineer's manual for the check marks when I was building this thing. Uh, I guess before I started placing down, I had everything in my inventory. I had two regular pistons and two sticky pistons. And I think I had to use the uh, the pistons for like the heavy engineering block or maybe it was the machine casing thing or I, I don't know. Anyway, we got it solved. We are good to go. But both of these things do require power, right? And... Yeah, this is really our only power source over here. The question I have is, do we have any more of these power conduits, the uh, flex ducts? We only have two of those. That's not very many. And that's easily made with a bunch of redstone, some lead, and some glass. So let's grab a bunch of redstone, some lead. Uh, How about that much? And we'll put that over here while we're doing stuff. And then we needed glass, I think was the other thing. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff to be made here. So if I tell it to make this, we get, dang, two stacks, that's a lot. Okay, uh, let's take this out. We don't need any more of that being done. That, 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 that all goes away. Yeah, I think it was these things, recipe. Mm, I don't know. There was something I thought that I made that needed pistons and I'm sure there was something, but I don't remember what it was anymore. Anyway, uh, so we have these. Let's go ahead and get rid of this other power that we're using here. Get rid of you. And we will do that like this, I think. That should work just fine. Then we need to attach it to here. So we will bring it up. Did that come over one more? Yeah, I think so. So that's all connected. Now we need to bring the power over to this one. Get rid of you. I guess we will, well, you know what? We can do it this way. I think I might rearrange that just a little bit. Yeah, if we can do it just like that, that should be fine. So that means we can just do this and we can get rid of this and we can straighten this out just a little bit more and make that look, I guess, a little bit nicer for now. All right, or we can even straighten this out more if we're really wanting to get crazy. Straighten that out a little bit more and have it like that. And that way our uh, conduit is all straight with the little offshoots. I guess we can do this. All right, that's fine. So now that we have that all set, we can come over here to this generator or whatever is going to take this thing's place because these power wires have to go. I'm done with them. And then we do that. Okay. So now everything over there should get power when this thing has fuel or whatever we upgrade this to. Um, all right, so that should be all that we need to do for that. Now, the other thing is we do have to make the, these things, the, the, the molds. We have not done that yet. And I haven't even looked at the recipe. So in order to make these, we need the metal press molds blueprint. And then we need five steel plates plus engineer's wire cutter. And it looks like you can choose which one you want to make. They're all the same recipe. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab ourselves 
Uh, some steel. We need 10 steel. We have six. Now, I did start up our furnace down here to craft up some more. We should have... Okay, good. We have plenty... No, that's iron. That's the wrong one. Huh. We need this. Okay, I just ruined the one that was crafting. Oh, well. Uh, so we have that. That needs to come over here into our compactor without the thing. So we will compact that down into 10 steel plates, right? Now, we need the engineer's wire cutter. I don't remember if we have made that yet or not. I don't see it in here. Let's go take a look upstairs. We do have that. And do we have... We have the metal press molds. Perfect. So, currently, I've been using the crafting components. This thing allows us to make the steel mechanical components with two steel and one copper ingot, as opposed to, like, the four steel and the copper gear if you craft it without using this thing. So it's like a lot cheaper with this. Okay, yeah, so you put in the stuff here and then you choose the mold that you want, perfect. All right, let's go grab our 10 steel plates and we should be able to do this very easily. All uh, right, and then we need the shears in here. Do these all have to be in its own slot? No, it doesn't, they can all be stacked, perfect. So a wire and then we do the rod, okay. So those are like the exclusive things that we need for immersive engineering. I think I'll do the rod over here and then we'll do the wire right here. Okay, now we are all set with these things. So I'll clean the RAK for that. We also got this complete, I guess. I didn't like, oh yeah, we made the squeezer previously, didn't we? Okay, so we made that out of order and it did recognize that we have made that before. So we are done with that quest. So the next one is the fermenter. So in order to do that, we're going to need six steel scaffolding. Now, we're running really low on steel at the moment. I know there is a, a recipe that we can do in the smeltery, but it costs a lot more on coal. It might be what we look at, though. Let's take a look. Steel. Uh, we have eight in my inventory. That's our total. That's the total amount of steel that we have. And then steel scaffolding over here, we have four. So if I want to make steel scaffolding... That costs uh, only three for six of these since we already have the uh, steel rods. Okay, so we can do that, no problem. All right, so we have all the steel scaffolding that we need. Redstone engineering. I have extras of those. I made two of those recipes. Uh, light engineering, I don't think we have. Yeah, we don't have that. Uh, fluid pipe. We have two of those. Perfect. What else? Cauldron, we need four of those. So a cauldron, the recipe is unchanged. Oh, what am I doing? Iron ingot, that's what I'm looking for. So we need four of those. Perfect. Okay, so we have a good amount of the stuff that we need here. I guess we should go back to this page, uh, go back, and then we're looking for the fermenter. So we need two light engineering blocks, four iron sheet metal. The iron sheet metal is made for iron ingots equals four of those, or I guess four iron plates. Okay, well, I will go ahead and get the rest of that made. The light engineering block, yeah, we made those before. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll continue on, guys. All right, so we now have ourselves our fermenter up and running. Uh, it's got power going to it, and then I just got done putting together this one over here, this is the refinery, which should refine oil into fuel, I think, for the diesel generator, I think. Anyway, that was, like, the next on the quest here, so I just decided to do it all. We've seen, like, all this immersive engineering. Nothing about this is getting, like, more interesting, I guess. Uh, diesel generator is the final quest here, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and boop this thing and get it going. I'm not sure where I got to boop it. Is it on the light engineering block side, the heavy engineering block side? There we go. All right, so that's where stuff comes out, and we put stuff in here. Power goes right there. Uh, probably would make sense for us to just go ahead and hook this up to our power supply as well. So we will just go over here. Okay, so that's what we're looking like right now for all of the different power. I think we should be fine. So we have a refinery, we have an industrial fermenter, a crusher, a squeezer, and two metal presses. So the last thing on the list is our diesel generator. This is the thing that we've been working towards, and this is probably going to be really expensive. 
So it does require eight steel scaffolding. Steel is a thing that we are really starting to hurt on right now. Uh, I have steel being made down here. I keep like trying to get more being made. We have five extras and some extra this. We can put it over here. Okay. So we have five of steel and I know this diesel generator is going to require a lot. We have six additional right there. So a total of 11 steel, not very much. Uh, so the generator block, these things, two of them require six steel each. So we need a total of 12. So we are one steel short just for the generator block itself. Radiator block, two of those requires four steel and we need a total of five of those recipes. Okay. Uh, fluid pipes, that's iron, heavy engineering block, that's like eight steel per every two of those. So that's a lot of steel that we have needing still. Uh, redstone engineering block, steel scaffolding. Okay, so is there any other way for us to make steel at this point other than that blast furnace? Now, I know there is an upgrade for the blast furnace to make steel faster, but that, in, again, requires more steel. Uh, we're looking for a way for us to just make steel uh, easier. So steel ingots, smelting, steel dust, steel dust, steel grit, steel dust, steel blend. And steel blend is only made from crushing steel. Okay, so that is definitely not what we're looking for. So if we had the cheaty book of cheatiness, we could turn one steel into two. Is this expensive? Is this even craftable? It is not craftable. It doesn't look like. Okay. Uh, redstone furnace. We can smelt some things if we had other steel components. Ah, induction smelter. We could do iron plus some coal, and that turns into steel, but I think we might be able to do that just the same in the smeltery, so that doesn't really help us out. Moving right along, blast furnace is what we've been doing. Arc furnace, so that's another thing in immersive, which is probably going to require steel in itself, and that requires 512 RF per tech, which is quite expensive for us at this point in time. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of other options. Alloy smelter, iron plus four coal or a coal coke that costs 4,000 RF per tick if we do it with the coal coke. Now, how fast does that go with our simple alloy smelter? I don't know, probably really slow. Otherwise, it's 10,000 RF if we do it with this way. Uh, coal, I know we had some pulverized coal in here earlier. Let's grab that and we'll do four iron. Let's just see. It's probably about time we upgrade our uh, simple alloy smelter to the next tier. I'm just afraid we're not going to have enough RF to power this thing. So this is going slow, but is that slower than the furnace over there? I think this might be faster than our simple or our, our crude blast furnace is going. I could be wrong though. This doesn't really show you a percent, so it's hard to judge. You just have to see by like the percentage of this arrow. Yeah, I think the alloy smelter is going faster, but it does cost more coal. It's four coal per steel as opposed to one coal coke. So I don't know, we need steel fast. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it as fast as possible even if it's not the most efficient way. Uh, I don't think, do we, we do have an induction smelter so I could also run this, this is 40 RF per tick. And we saw that that was, I think the same recipe, wasn't it? Let's try doing one of these, maybe this is faster. Oh, that is significantly faster. Okay, get the simple alloy smelter out of here. We're going. Uh, uh, induction smelter. Okay, guys. So I probably made about 3.27 million steel at this point, give or take a few million. I don't know, something around there. I've been at this for quite some time now, trying to get all the steel that we need to make this. And I think we are done with the diesel generator. Actually, I haven't tried clicking this thing to see if it will generate. Get it? Generate? That actually wasn't a pun that I was trying to make. Uh, I'm clicking on it. And I'm not seeing anything happen here. Oh, there it goes. You got to click it on the front center thing. Okay, so we have a diesel generator. So the way this should work is power should be output here. We have four different outputs and maybe even a fifth one since you have to put a generator down here and then three generators over here. I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, let's try and connect some power conduit here. That doesn't connect, but does connect here, does connect there. Okay, so this bottom one, you can't connect to. It's just these three on top that will produce power. Okay, so if we look around it, we see fuel input and fuel input. 
So that's it. If we right click on this, we don't get any anything here. Nope, there's no UI. You just pump in fuel, it turns on. Uh, I feel like there was a way you could turn this on and off. Yeah, there's a redstone thing here. You can turn it on and off. All right, so now we need to get fuel for this thing. Does this have a UI? It does. So we put in stuff here and then it does stuff here and then it does stuff here. So I guess this has two separate fluid outputs. No, it looks like three. One fluid input and then two outputs. So that's an output here. Now, if I remember right, I think you connect the regular fluid pipes to this from immersive engineering and you like output two separate fluids. Is that how that, I, I feel like that's how that works. Um, also this has immersive petroleum, right? So there's is also, uh, besides this refinery, there's a distillation tower. And yeah, let's take a look. So we have diesel. So according to this, we put in oil and then we get out diesel and LPG. This is from the refinery. Now the refinery looks like it can output multiple things or is this, oh no, this is the pneumatic craft refinery. Ah, distillation tower. This is what we're looking for. Just enough petroleum. Okay. So this is what we want. So we put in oil into the distillation tower, which we haven't crafted yet. And then we get out lube, diesel, gasoline, and bitumen at a 7% rate, apparently. Uh, this is what we want. So is this, so there's two different ways to get diesel. We can do the refinery from pneumatic craft, which I'm not sure we can craft. We need HSLA steel ingot, which sounds scary. That is iron plus carbon manganese blend, which I don't, I don't think we've seen manganese yet. So I don't think that's a thing that we can do. Uh, and then we need steel frame, which is tough alloy. So we'd have to be in a nuclear craft a little bit in order to make that. Cause that's a nuclear craft specific material with ferroboron, boron, and then some lithium. Yeah, we're not there yet. So we can't even look at that. Stop looking at it. There is the magnetic craft refinery, apparently. I'm not sure how this works. This might be something that we could do. Light oil, diesel, kerosene, gasoline. And it says it costs one tick, but magnetic craft uses its own special power, which kind of makes me a little standoffish of it. Um, so this says it can be processed in a thermopneumatic processing plant to produce kerosene or by adding redstone lubricant. It is reasonable liquid fuel. This bucket can be placed in a furnace. Okay. So distillation tower. I think we need to go back to this and see if we can do a distillation tower. So oil processing, distillation tower. Yeah, this is a big boy. This requires so much steel. 25 steel scaffolding, 33 steel scaffolding slabs, 17 fluid pipes, which is just iron, so that doesn't matter. A redstone engineering block doesn't matter. Four heavy engineering blocks really doesn't matter. I just made like 17 of them for, <laughs> I think either the refinery or the diesel generator, I'm not sure. And then uh, 60 iron sheet metal, so that's essentially 60 iron. So the, the big thing with this is gonna be that scaffolding. So each of the, so that's essentially we need to make, what is that like 36 steel scaffolding in total in order to do that? Because the slabs, just three scaffolding, you get like six out of them. Like you make any other type of slabs. Okay. So I guess what we need to do at this point is reassess <laughs> where our steel production is. So we have eight steel here and I've been making just a little bit down here, but not a whole lot. We have 16 more, so up to 24. And then over here, we probably got like 10, maybe 16. Okay, that's better than I was thinking. So we have 40 steel at this point. And then steel scaffolding, we have two plus a rod. Uh, yeah. So I guess I am going to start working towards doing this. I don't think there's a quest for doing that particular thing. Mm -mm. Oh, there's also this generator. You know what? I think this was a generator that I was thinking about previously when I was trying to hook up the magnetic craft one. I think this is the one that produces RF, but it works just the same as the magnetic craft one, right? Oh, and that even uses the thermal pile for magnetic craft to craft it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely the one that I was thinking about before. We should probably get this hooked up. I can't imagine that would make any power worse <laughs> than 
This thing over here that burns coal for 30 RF per tick, which is pretty terrible. Uh, and it's actually leaks RF. It doesn't even hold it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, in order to make, let, let's do that. Let's make this thing real quick. We might hold off on this distillation tower till next time, but let's make this. So we want four Constantine plates and a Constantine gear. Have we made Constantine yet? We have, awesome. So four of those for a gear and then it was four plates and then steel plate in our thermal pile. All right, so we should be able to do this. I can make the gear right here, put this in here. I said, put it in the thing. Don't throw it on the ground, guy. Put it right here. All right, so we do that. Then we need four of the plates. All right, so we got that cooking up. Uh, thermal pile, yeah. Oh, we need to make a steel plate. I guess I have steel on me. We can do that right here in just one second. As soon as this is done. All right, here we go. Thermal electric generator. Hopefully that makes 30 RF per tick. I imagine it probably should. Icy hot generator. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and piece this thing out of here. Let's put this thing down. Now that's interesting. You see here, it looks like it has the RF stored in it, but it leaks RF if it's in the world, but it doesn't if you break it as a block, as a single entity. Hmm, mm -hmm, -hmm. interesting. Okay, so now that we have this here, we need to place down some blocks so we can keep fluids on either side of it. Uh, so we'll do lava and then we'll do water. And it says it's producing no power, but I don't know if it's actually not producing power or what's going on. Um, I mean, maybe the maybe the toll chip just always says zero out of zero. Is there a way for us to see if this thing's generating power? I mean, I guess we could try running some machines or something. I don't know. Uh, I could probably add some more conduit because I think each one of these adds a little bit of power storage. So does that help us see if it's drawing? Actually, you know what we should do? Here's what we do. We come over here, we break this, and then we reboot it, because I think that'll make it lose all the power. Then we can see if it starts filling up or not. I think that's what we do. So there's that. And then we got to grab this guy somewhere. Is it in my inventory? It's in my inventory already. All right, boop that. Well, that filled up with power pretty quickly, but there could have been power already stored up in these conduits. Man, I don't know. I wish this thing, I wish I could see what this thing is doing. Do I have to like click this at all? It doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna assume this thing's working and that we're producing all the power ever. I, I'm just gonna assume this thing is making like a bazillion RF per tick and we'll just call that good. How about that? <laughs> Probably it isn't. Uh, but is it making more power than we had before? I don't know. I wish there was some kind of way that we could read that. Okay, well I couldn't exactly find how much power that we're making with that generator that winter wolf is coming over to say hello get out of here okay uh i couldn't find out how much power it's actually making but i did find it in the engineer's manual here and basically it says under here the different grades of temperature so like the colder something is versus uh the hot like the hotter something is on one side and the colder something is on the other side the more power it makes essentially now this is saying that packed ice is 200K, whereas ice is 273K. So packed ice is colder than the regular ice. So we wanna have packed ice and we wanna have plutonium, but we don't have that. So we do have yellorium, but anyway, we don't have ice to make packed ice out of. So that's why we're here in the twilight forest, just north of our portal, trying to get some ice. Now we're not supposed to go into this biome, I don't think, I think that's what that snow it means, is that we're not supposed to be in here. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's just raining in the overworld, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and vein mine so it touches ice away. So now we get a stack plus four and we should be able to get ourselves some packed ice out of it. I saw that the recipe for packed ice with a frozen core, which you have a bunch of, just eight ice around it will make a packed ice. And that's all we need to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so we got ourselves our packed ice and we got ourselves our Eulorium block. So this thing should be making like a bazillion, bazillion power now. But we still don't know how much it's actually making since we don't have a way to, to tell. Yeah, we'll just assume it's making a bazillion power like we did before. But now with it set up like this, we shouldn't need these things on either side. And I don't know if you can do like Eulorium on two sides and packed ice on two sides as they produce more power or whatever. I have no idea. This is probably only making something like 40 RF per tick, maybe 80 tops. I can't imagine it'd be making like a stupid amount of power. But anyway, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. We did end up getting our diesel generator made. That was what we had planned from the start. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to power this thing just yet. We got to make ourselves that distillation tower. And that's going to require a lot of steel. So we're going to have to wait until next time for us to get that much more steel and you know we're at the end of the episode today anyway so it's time to wrap it up anyway guys that's gonna do it for today thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it and we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys bye bye